All right, guys, welcome back to video two of this Django uh, Python web development series. So in this video, in the previous video, let's let's just give a quick recap. We uh, installed Django and we actually ran the server for the first time. And then we actually uh, stumbled upon this admin um, administration kind of a page. And we are going to be creating a super user today. And we are going to be learning about migrations and the kind of stuff today. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to tackle is it says you have 15 unapplied migrations. Your project may not work properly, which is not good for us because we want our project to work like a butter very, very smoothly. Uh, <laughs> so first of all, what are migrations? So migrations, you can think of, uh, you can just, you know, what is a typical uh, country migration? So if you have to go from one country to another country, it's called migration. All right. Similarly, in uh, Django, what it means is if there is any kind of changes inside database of uh, Django project, then you have to use migrations and you have to make sure that your database is uh, migrated from the old database to the new database. So that's where migrations come in. So right now we have created a new project. So there are a lot of changes inside a Django project that haven't been migrated from the old database to the new database. So how do you actually migrate? It is very, very simple. Let's just stop the server right now and you can just write migrate and press enter. So it says the app name, which we will go uh, in a little bit for right now, just write migrate and press enter. Just press enter and it will do all the migrations. So, and if you are uh, in some kind of a terminal, you can just, instead of uh, run server, you can just write in migrate and this will work the same for you. So anyways, uh, as you can see, what it says is it uh, has uh, kind of created uh, tables for us, tables inside Django. So how do we, how do we actually see those tables? You don't need to see these tables. Uh, but if you want to see these tables, you can see there is this file which is now created. It says database.sqlite3, which is the database which we are using. Let's actually have a look at this uh, db.sqlite3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to paste this on my desktop somewhere. Let's replace the file and I'm going to paste this over here. And then I'm going to, uh, because there was already an sqlite3 file on my desktop with the same name, that's why I had to replace it. Then I'm just going to uh, write a uh, SQLite uh, 3 online just to make sure that there's an online one. All right, we can have a look at the SQLite 3 online. Then we can go to just, uh, come on, dude, let's, let's do the loading part quickly. What are you doing? All right, let's go to file, click on open DB and uh, let's scroll down. And somewhere over here, we have our db.sqlite 3 and let's give it some time and as you can see there are these couple of tables over here on the left hand side which have been automatically created by django and we haven't even done anything yet so there's this auth user if i double click on it there's nothing over here it's empty as you can see over here and this is not going to be empty soon because we are going to be creating our uh, django administration user so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to go over here and now I'm not going to tell you what you do in terminal because instead of uh, migrate, you can just write uh, what I'm going to write in front of it. All right. So I'm just, I'm just not going to go into it now from now on. You can just kind of assume that uh, you can just write my Python manage dot by space. And then uh, instead of migrate, you can just write down what I'm going to write down inside uh, this manage dot by. All right. So over here, I'm just going to write create super user and press enter. So this is, I'm just going to create an admin. So username, let's uh, actually name the username as admin. And then the email address, you can put in the email address if you want. I'm just going to leave it empty. And then the password. So the password needs to be a little bit complex. Otherwise Django throws you, uh, throws you an error which says, hey, dude, make a better password. It's very easy. So I'm just going to write the password as one at the rate hello world and press enter. And then I'm going to write the password again. Hello world. Obviously, when I'm hosting this website on actual website, I'll make sure that I change the password and everything. So you you guys who are watching this video and then they go to my actual website are not able to log in into my uh, admin panel. But for now, I'm just going to make sure that you see the password. It's just this. Press enter. Super user created successfully. So now I'm, I can just run the server again and press enter. And now uh, let's go to our uh, this thing. Press enter. Let's refresh it a little bit. And now we can just write the username as admin and password one at the rate. Hello 
world press enter all right i've entered the password wrong what the heck hello world press enter all right so now we have logged in into our django administration so as you can see this uh, cool uh, stuff going on over here and actually this site administration is actually responsive so if you kind of uh, you know just shorten it out it's going to be totally responsive and you can just play with it in the previous was versions before django 2.0 this was actually not responsive so you know what i used to do when i used to have uh, my website anopinion.com it used to be like really hard for me because uh, i used to go on my mobile phone and it didn't used to be responsive so i used to just go to the desktop mode and i had to look at my on my phone in the desktop mode so that was pretty frustrating but anyways now they have created this users thing and now you can see there is this admin username which has been created and you can add like personal information and stuff over here. So a uh, table has been created for it. Now what is this Django administration panel? I just want to go over it once again. So whenever you want to handle uh, any kind of database and stuff, all right, and if you want to do any kind of changes inside the database, you can go inside this Django administration and you can do any kind of changes to the database. You can add stuff, you can change stuff. Actually, let me just see if it, it, it is safe to uh, show the uh, admin of uh, Django panel. I hope I remember the password. I'm not sure, but I'm going to give it a shot. I think it was admin. The password should be this. All right, <laughs> this looks pretty good. All right, so as you can see, this has a lot of stuff. Uh, it has size conversations table. So if we go to the conversation table, it has a lot of stuff inside it. And this is basically my database and I can go inside this database and I can see a lot of things, the feedback, the replies, and I can change this feedback and I can add new stuff from which user to which user. I can delete this user. I can delete this conversation and so on. So this is the spams. This is the spammy table. If somebody reports as spam, it goes into the spammy table. These are the user profiles. Uh, these are the notifications. These are the feedbacks. So you get the idea, right, of what's happening. So that's the, that's the aim of this uh, Django administration panel. So what we are going to do is just to make sure that you kind of see the changes that are happened inside this db.sqlite3. I'm just going to copy it again because now we have migrated all the stuff and we have created a super user. So I'm just going to replace this file in the destination and I'm going to go again to this SQLite browser. So as you can see now, if we click on auth underscore user, this is totally empty. But if we go to file, we click on open db. We go to our default SQLite3 file and uh, let it give a little bit of time. And now if you click on auth underscore user, you can see there is this one table that has been created in, uh, inside this db.sqlite3. Uh, all right, so we are not going to be looking inside this file because we can kind of look inside this file by going to our administration panel automatically. So this is basically what is happening inside this db.sqlite3 file. All right, so that was a lot. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this is all about migrations and uh, Django panels. So guys, I think uh, this is pretty much it for this video because I think it has already been nine minutes and I don't want to overwhelm with you, like overwhelm you with a lot of information. But in this video, we learned about migrations, which are basically a way to change from old database to new database. So if we kind of add new tables and stuff inside a database, uh, you have to always migrate it. All right, then we learned about our Django administration panel, which is basically used to control all the database. And I showed you actually my unopinion database, uh, which I used. Uh, so guys, this is pretty much it. In the next video, we are going to be actually implementing something in our uh, website. So you'll actually be able to see some kind of output instead of this, uh, just uh, uh, instead of this, uh, oh, we have stopped the server or what? Oh yeah, we have stopped the server. Let's run the server quickly. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's press enter. So instead of this page, you're actually going to be seeing uh, some kind of output, all right, like maybe hello world or something uh, on our web page. So that's going to be really exciting. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow or in the next video, wherever you see this, the next video. Peace out.